Hey, what's up guys? This is Michel at Wingsound.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the mixer in Cubase 5. If you have any question about it, feel free to send me an email at michel at Wingsound.com. So you can select where your signal comes from by clicking on the top uh, box and you choose where it goes by clicking on the bottom box. This is an input gain, so this one controls the gain of the incoming signal before any EQ or insert. If you want to change it, uh, drag it up or down by holding either Alt or Shift. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. They did it this way to uh, avoid accidental changes. You can also click on the value field and enter the number manually. And if you click and uh, hold Command, it's gonna reset it to its default value. And this works with pretty much all the parameters in Cubase. For example, uh, if I turn this fader all the way down and um, click and hold command, it's going to come back to zero. And this is the input phase, so turn this one on if you want to uh, invert the phase polarity of the signal. This is the extended view uh, where a Q, insert, sends, or meters can be displayed. You can set it up uh, individually, channel by channel, by clicking right here. or you can change them all at the same time by going to the common panel here to the left so you can uh, choose to see just nothing or other inserts other EQs you can see four, it's, that's a four band EQ you can turn them on and off right here this is a gain, frequency and Q factor uh, this is a Q, same thing but you just have the, um, uh, the curve uh, those are our sends from 1 to 8, you can see them also from uh, 4 by 4, this is 1 to 4 and 5 to 8. This is Studio Sense, which uh, works only if you have the control room feature activated, and I'm gonna go through that in another video. This is a, a surround panel, uh, those are like uh, big, um, big meters, and uh, this is an overview. So this shows you uh, all your inserts and uh, EQs and sends. You can turn them on and off from here too. But let me show you how to uh, insert uh, an effects. So I'm back to the inserts. I just click on an empty uh, slot. Choose a plugin. Here it is. I turn it on and off from here. This is a bypass button the E as an edit, which is just gonna pop up the plugin. I can move it around within the channel or from channel to the other. If I want to copy it, I do the same thing by holding Alt. And if I want the plugin to be a post fader, I just drag it to one of the two last slots. So, uh, this is the actual mixer right here. You can see the pan section at the top. So, uh, if you control and click on it, you can see three different modes. Uh, the default one is the stereo balance panel, which is pretty basic, you know, you balance between the left and the right. But if you choose the stereo dual panel, you can see that you can change individually the left and right channel. So this, this one allo allows you to uh, switch left and right channels, or you can sum the signal to, have like a, to make a stereo mono. Then the stereo combined panel, which is kind of the same thing, but it just keeps the um, relative distance between the left and right. Then you have the mute and uh, solo. Don't think I have to go through those ones. Uh, this is the listen button. So, uh, like the studio sends, this has, has something to do with the control room features. But basically, what it does, uh, it just rolls the channel to the control room without interrupting the signal flow but I'm gonna go through the control room in another video, so. Um, this is the read automation. So if you have an automation going on uh, on, your, um, on your channel, just make sure this is uh, turned on if you want to read it. Otherwise, it's gonna be like a bypass. Uh, the write automation. So when you click on it and it's read, uh, and you press play, whatever you do uh, uh, on your channel is gonna write it and uh, it's gonna make a new automation. The E, when you click on it, uh, the edit window of the channel pops up. Uh, those are uh, bypass buttons for the inserts. When it's blue, it means that you have um, uh, an insert on your channel active. 
active and if you click on it it turns yellow that means uh, all of your inserts are going to be bypassed this is the eq green means that you have a eq active otherwise it's going to be gray so bypass it same thing yellow and send same thing, blue means that you have something uh, send active and just click on it to bypass it. This is a monitor, so that's when you turn this one on, you can hear the incoming uh, signal into the channel. This is a record enable. Uh, when you uh, record, make sure that those buttons are activated on whatever channel you want to record on. You can change the name of the channel by double clicking right here. So this one, you can choose to hide a certain type of uh, channel right here. So for example, if I click here, I'm gonna uh, hide all the groups. I have no group right now, so it's not gonna hide anything. I have only audio channels, so if I click on audio, they're all gonna be gone. They're hidden. Uh, if you want to reset your um, mixer, the, the wall mixer, you can click right here. You can actually uh, choose to uh, reset only the selected channel or the whole thing. If you want to copy the settings of a channel, just select the channel you want to copy and just click here, copy, and then select the other one and just click on paste. And uh, here, right here on the left, those are the inputs. And this is the master, I mean, the outputs. You can have more than one output. Check out Wingsound on the iTunes store to subscribe to the podcast, listen to some music, and download the free iPhone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from Wingsound Studios. Just search for Wingsound at the iTunes store.